Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are bringing you another roster video for RTR Imperium Resurrection version 0.5. So thank you once again to the mod team for letting me have this sneak preview and letting me show you guys some of the changes and some of the new units to the roster. Now a quick note before we get going guys, I'm going to go a bit heavier on the guide aspect of this so that you guys know which units to use when and where uh, and how you're going to use them in battles because I want these videos to be used in the future as roster guides rather than just showing off the new units we will show them off of course and look at them but i'll uh, be talking about them a little bit more and the seleucids are a brilliant unit roster they're my favorite nation in rome total war slash remastered slash rtr imperium Serectum. so i am very excited to bring you this guys now first things first guys we're actually going to go through the uh, AOR units and just have a look at what you get access to as AOR units because as you can see look how big this roster is guys it's massive this is the uh, standard roster but then on top of that you've got access to all of these AOR units predominantly we're talking sort of missile units in here because you already have a very strong infantry lineup so as you can see we've got some pirates uh, we've got some Thracian infantry, Persian Sapabara, which are actually a pretty decent unit. Uh, mercenary Arabian swordsmen, if I can speak correctly. Uh, mercenary Galatians, Phalangites, of course, Galatian Thorakitai, and then we have a slew of archers. Some of which are excellent, excellent archers. 12 missile attack for these Arabians. And the Sogdian, where are they? The Sogdian armored spearmen archers are also excellent excellent 13 missile attack guys with seven armor very very decent unit and on top of that 160 missile range very long range uh, along with the cretans you can see the cretans and these guys are pretty similar very very good archer units you also get access to some seriously strong horse archers guys which ah, i just just can't wait to see seleucid armies with horse archers rampaging within them that'll be fantastic uh, you get the Sogdian Heavy Horse Archers, Persian Noble Cavalry, Babylonian Horse Archers, uh, Nabatai Horse Archers. So plenty of options there, guys, if you want some extra uh, strength to your armies. But guys, without further ado, we will move on to the battle map to show you some of these stunning new units and go through their strengths and weaknesses. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a second. Right guys, here we are once again looking at the stunning units of the Seleucids. Fantastic to see. We have the Macedonians in the distance. We have obviously gone through those guys. So if you want to see those other videos, they'll be down in the description below or on the playlist. As well as the Sparta campaign and Carthage campaign. Check those out as well guys. So we're going to go through the army starting with the infantry of course. So again, standard to the Roperoi. Um, in the army as I've said on the other videos these guys are solid. They are solid troops They're not uh, terrible, but they're not amazing either. They're, they're a pretty standard unit mid tier Low to mid tier spearmen. They've got a couple of jabbies with 14 missile attack Which is always very helpful eight charge 20 35 defense is nothing to sniff at of which they have a lot of armor, 7 armor and 6 shield. So they are going to not die to Javis slash missiles too quickly. Uh, but melee attack of 12 isn't brilliant. Morale of 13 is, is okay. Uh, but they will route with big morale shocks. So again, standard Theroporoi unit looking very nice as well. This guy's looking at him like, really? Are we going to do this? Really? Why are we in the front line? Why are we in the front line? <laughs> But then we move on to the Greek Hoplites, um, standard Hoplite unit again, but looking at the unit variation from behind. This is where you can really see the effort that's gone into these units, guys. If you come behind, you can see all the different variation in all its different colors and forms. And if we come in the front, look at the detail once again. I know I've said it so many times. Ah, there's a Cyclops. Look, ah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is cool. That is really cool. I like the Cyclops. Um... But yeah, you can see the massive amount of detail that's gone into this. Absolutely beautiful units. Um, but yeah, standard Hoplite unit. Uh, 13 morale, 13 melee attack, 36 defense, 12 charge. Nothing really to scoff at, but nothing really 
to uh, to go home about. So there are again the Thoroughroy and the Hoplites are your early tier units, your early game units that are gonna be solid, solid units enough to hold the line but not necessarily the units that are going to do well late game. Uh, so use these guys early game, but of course, uh, when you start getting into the late game, you want to start getting into some better units. So we have the Seleucid Thorokitai, which is a heavy sword wielding unit. And you can see different types of swords on show here. Some of them curved, some of them um, straight. Very different types of swords indeed, but these guys looking fantastic once again. Very nice. We can see the variation from behind as well. But these guys are a more solid infantry unit than your earlier tier of the Greek Hoplites, etc. Although they have slightly less defense than the Hoplites, their melee attack of 12, morale of 16 will mean that they can just hold the line for a lot longer. Missile attack of 15 with two javis instead of with the Theroporoi of 14 with two javis. So, um, they're basically just an updated, upgraded version of, of the Theroporoi, as you can see. Slightly less defense skill, in fact, but uh, the same amount of defense overall. Um, more armor. But yes, just more morale is the main thing here. The same melee attack, but just more morale. So they're a better version of your Theroporoi. And looking very nice indeed. They do have a decent amount of armor. Eight armor. And that is represented very nicely here with uh, these different armor sets. Very good. <sighs> Look at the detail, guys. Once again, I'm just going to talk about the details. There's a little details in unit design that really, really set units apart, isn't it? Uh, and set mods apart from others. And then we have the Seleucid Chalka Speedes. A solid phalangite unit. I would say your mid-tier phalangite unit over here. Very, very nice stats. 36 defense, 7 shield, 7 armor. So they're not going to die to missiles very quickly. Especially if you bump that armor rating up. 15 morale, so they will hold the line until large morale shocks. Um, melee attack of 18, which is really good for a phalangite unit. Um, and an alt attack of 12. So just don't get these guys out of phalanx if you can help it. Uh, you never want to get your phalanx units out of phalanx um, if you can help it. And they're looking very nice. Sort of the, a red design with these guys. Common theme of red going on. Very, very cool indeed. Once again, the shields are the things that always seem to stand out to me. The different designs on the shields. The different helms. And it... Have we seen this type of helm before without the plumage coming out of it? I don't think we have, so that's cool to see. Uh, a new type of helm on these guys. Very nice, indeed. I'd say a solid, medium-tier phalangite unit. If you can't get your elite units out, get these guys instead, and they'll do a decent enough job for you. Right, guys, let's go across to the uh, Agira Spides. So, we've got two forms of Agira Spides compared to just one. Uh, in the mod in version 0.4.2. So we have the Phalanx Agira Spides. Agira Spides. I don't know how to say it. If anyone knows how to say it, guys, let me know in the comments down below. And these guys look awesome. They're also very, very, very strong. Look at these stats, guys. 47 defense for a Phalangite unit. That is obscene. And that is very well represented with the armor you can see them wearing. Nice armor. Armor across their whole body, as opposed to uh, just on their heads or just on their torso, etc. They are looking awesome. I love these silver shields that these guys have. Looking very cool indeed. And the plumes really adds to the elite feel. Do you remember when I said in the last video, capes uh, represent a lot of the time, whether it's an elite unit? I think capes and plumes together. That's got to be... The elite unit meta right now. Because <laughs> it just looks so cool. It looks so cool. But 47 defense guys. 9 armor. 6 shield. 32 defense skill. It's a very good defense skill. 18 melee attack for a phalangite unit is awesome. As I've said before. is really good. And 21 morale. These guys are not going to be breaking anytime soon. And will hold after morale shocks. I would recommend keeping them... Uh, keeping them safe and not letting them get flanked, of course, with all phalangite units, you'd want that to happen. But with these guys, if your general, say, gets killed and then they get flanked, they might break. But for the most part, they're very unlikely, very unlikely to break. 
And then we have the Aguirre Spides, or Aguirre Spides, uh, reformed swordmen, who uh, are the sword version of these boys. And just have a look at them. They look almost Roman, I would say. Almost Roman, we can see, with this large shield here. Roman-type shield. I don't know what that's exactly called, so if someone knows, comment that down below uh, in the comments. Uh, but yeah, with a large sword ready to smash into the enemy. And once again, looking fantastic with the plumage. Looking fantastic. And the capes, of course. We love the capes, don't we? Especially the purple ones. Uh, but their stats are even more astonishing. 51 defense. That is awesome. That is really, really good. Uh, 33 defense skill. 11 armor. Very, very... Um, a large amount of armor. And you can tell by looking at them. They are covered in the armor, boys. 33 defense skill. These guys are beasts, even without their armor. 20 morale. So, less morale than the Phalangites, but their uh, melee attack of 11 um, is not as good as you probably would expect from an elite unit. So, they're not going to be doling out that much damage, um, but that's probably to balance these guys out, because their defense is so strong that it <laughs> that you... Uh, you really need to balance them out there with, uh, with a low me melee attack because their defense is so good. But they will hold the line forever. They might not kill as many troops as you would expect, but they will hold the line forever. And again, two missiles with a 14 missile attack. Pretty solid. These are very, very heavy infantry, guys. Solid, solid defensive unit. I probably would use these guys in the main line rather than flanking just because of that low melee attack. Um... So, yeah, that would that would be my option for these guys. I would use them in the line rather than flanking um, as a defensive unit rather than an offensive unit and use something else to try and flank just because of that low melee attack. But they will just hold the line forever. Right, guys, let's move on to the uh, two new units as well, the Krai Saspides. I'm really trying hard with this pronunciation today, guys. <laughs> so, uh uh, don't lambast me too much in the comments for my uh, terrible pronunciation normally of these uh, Greek Greek words. Beautiful shields. The gold shining shields, guys. Very nice to see indeed. Very nice variation within here if we get in close. But a uh, solid um, a solid unit once again. Let's uh, compare them to the Chalka Speeders. So they're very, exactly the same. They just look different. So, I'm guessing there might be two different forms of recruiting them, or they might be uh, accessed at different points. But very, very nice unit. And as I say, decent, solid Phalangite unit. Going to do very, uh, gonna do a lot of damage with that 18 melee attack, and hopefully last very long with the 36 defense. It's just the morale you need to be slightly careful with. 15 morale is nothing to uh, scoff at, as I've said, but it's a bit lower than 20. Uh, so uh, they're not going to just stand and hold the line forever, even with your general dying and getting flanked, unlike some of the elite units. But they will hold the line pretty much the whole way through a battle if you keep your general safe and you don't let them get into too much trouble. But very nice unit once again. Very good. Good, solid mid-tier phalangites. And now we have the Hippastists, who are also a... Um, uh, elite unit, and we can tell by looking at them, can't we, guys? They look very elite. Look at these boys with the elephants stood behind them, looking fantastic, looking very fancy. Look at this. It's got plenty of designs on that plumage and on that helm, and looking brilliant. These guys, honestly, they look stunning, don't they? They are. I think that's my favorite looking unit so far, looking absolutely beautiful. And uh, these guys are very good. Another elite unit. It's a spearman. So morale of 18. Very good. Decent, decent morale. Not uh, as elite as, say, the Agraspides, but pretty good. Solid defense. 42 defense is nothing to scoff at. It's a very, very, very good defense. Melee attack of 14. So a bit better than the Reformed Swordsman of 11. Uh, and an ult attack of 13. So you're not going to lose anything if they do get their swords out rather than their uh, spears. But yeah, a fantastic looking unit. And like we were talking about before with the um, these uh, reformed swordsmen, the Aguirre Speedes, these guys, probably not the best for flanking with that low melee attack, but the 14 melee attack of these Hippastists, got to be plenty to get them around the flank. So what I would probably use these guys for is a screening flanking uh, spearman unit. 
uh, to combat any cavalry that comes your way if you want to because they'll do very well against cavalry with those spears but also to bring round and flank um, the uh, enemy phalangites while they're fighting your phalangites. I think that would be the best option for these guys. Very, very good unit. Very decent stats indeed. 28 defense skill. Very good. Very nice to see. And on, on top of that, when they're flanking, they're going to look absolutely glorious while doing it. Absolutely glorious. Right, guys, let's move on to... No, that was uh, this unit, wasn't it? Let's move on to the slingers and the archers, etc. We've gone through these guys already twice because they're pretty much exactly the same once they say. The Greek slingers, the lowest tier of your unit, pretty much the lowest unit you can get. But they do have a missile range of 147 missile attack and 32 missiles. Uh, so they, uh, yeah... They're, they're going to do damage. They're going to do damage. Just don't get them into any melee or any morale shocks. They will just run. Same with the Greek archers. Once again, they will just run. But 130 missile range, 30 uh, missiles, 10 um, missile attacks. So a bit better than the Greek slingers, just less range. But a, a decent... Um, archer unit. But as I said, use... The best archers you're going to get are in your AOR. Probably the Sogdians or the Cretans. They are both excellent archer units. So avoid these guys if you can. And get some of the uh, better AOR units. The Acontisti. Again, a uh, Javi unit. And they look, as we've said in all the previous videos, they look the tier that they are, these guys, don't they? They look the tier that they are. Wearing just their robes rather than um, any armor. Because they don't have armor. they got one armor. And I, I can't quite see where it is. Maybe it's that uh, that, <laughs> that vest. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. They have one armor stat. 11 defense skill. Uh, 12 defense total. 6 morale. Not great. But the missile attack of 9 with 7 javis will do damage. But if you want a good Peltast unit. Look no further than the Greek Peltas over here. Only two armor, and that's represented in their helms, as you can see. Looking fancy. They've also got a shield, though. But it's only three uh, different types of shield on show over here, guys. You can see the variation once again. Looking fantastic. Um, and although they look... Uh, Although they're still in the standard robes, you can tell that they're a little bit better and more elite than the Akontistai with their different designs. They've got racing stripes down the front to get to make them go faster, make them run faster, guys, when they're running from enemy cavalry, uh, running for their lives. Anyway, but 20 uh, total defense. That's, that's decent for a Peltast unit. Six morale, so slightly better morale. Still not good, though. Melee attack of 10 is not anything to scoff at. It's not terrible. Uh, but a missile attack of 9 with 7, uh, seven uh, missiles is fantastic. Is a decent... This is the decent um, Java unit that you want to be recruiting rather than the Akontistai if you can help it. Now, guys, let's move on to the heavily abated and waited for cavalry. And we'll start with the Prodromoi because we've seen them in uh, the other couple of videos. And once again, you can tell they don't have much armor. Uh, they look fine. They look really good. They look nice. Uh, they look decent. Uh, they look like a great unit. But uh, on top of that, guys, they're not an amazing unit. They're pretty much your lowest tier of cavalry. 12 defense is terrible for a cavalry unit. Uh, missile attack of 9 and ammo of 7. The thing is, though, they don't need defense because they're a missile cavalry unit. They don't need to have defense. They just need to be quick. So them being fast moving helps a lot. And they just need to be quick. Get rid of those uh, missiles. And then they can charge in at the end where they will get shredded. Or you can just leave them on the side of the battlefield. But as I say, your lowest tier of cavalry. They will do some damage. But if you can help it, get some of your better cavalry. And here we have the general's bodyguard. I believe this is after the reform. We didn't quite have enough spaces to bring the other general's bodyguard as well. So uh, I brought this one. I, I'm pretty sure this is after the reform when they get the cataphract horses. But look at these guys. Honestly, guys. Oh, wow. Yes, they look amazing. Look, they've got scaled armor down their arms. Armor on their torso. Covered in armor, guys. 17 armor. That's the highest armor stat we've seen so far throughout all the videos we've done on the rosters. Looking very good indeed. Look at these guys. Oh, they just look awesome. And again, should we do the... Should we do the uh, 
Should we do the check, guys? Yeah, they got capes. And they got plumes. <laughs> Elite unit. <laughs> as it should be. As your general's bodyguard. Uh, fantastic. Uh, looking very nice indeed. But 21 morale. Of course, brilliant. 16 melee attack. Very good for a cavalry unit. 63 charge, guys. 63 charge. That is obscene. They will just absolutely ruin enemy units, especially if you charge them in the back. 35 defense, of course. Very good indeed. 17 of which is armor. So although they don't have a shield, they will not die to um, they will not die uh, to javelins or missiles very quickly at all. 15 alt attack is fantastic as well. But ideally, you want to be charging these guys in as many times as you can with that 63 charge. Don't waste it. Get them in, smash. Get them out, go away, come back. It's fantastic. Now let's have a look at the Zista Fora. You're sort of lower tier of heavy cavalry. You have seen these guys before. And once again, looking very nice with the very long spears, the long lances, ready to charge the enemy. 36 charge, pretty decent charge for a low tier uh, cavalry unit. 16 morale, which is fine. 13 melee attack, not brilliant, but 25 defense. That's probably where it lets itself down a little bit. But with these, of course, guys, you're going to have to be charging them in and out quickly. Do not leave them in the fight for very long, because otherwise they will die with that lower defense. Uh, but use that charge once again to your advantage. So, let's go on to the Seleucid Zistafor, right? So, slightly... Let's have a look. Slightly more charge... Then, oh wait, these are, the, so these are two different Zistafora units. So we have the normal Zistafora and the Seleucid Zistafora, and they're just slightly different. These guys have 36 charge, these guys 38 and one less defense. And that's it. That's, that's pretty much the only difference. But these guys have a 13 alt attack as well. Um, so once again, looking fantastic. Oh, look at that plumage. That is fantastic. That is nice to see. Oh, how many times am I going to say fantastic in this? I've, I've replaced stunning and beautiful with fantastic. But anyway. Um, yeah, looking absolutely gorgeous once again, these units. It's just the detail, as I've said so many times, that goes into each and every unit, which is absolutely glorious. Fantastic to see. Ah, I've said it again. I've said it again. <laughs> But yeah, a uh, solid lower tier cavalry unit. Now let's have a look at uh, some of your elite cavalry units. The Heteroi. Very nice indeed. 41 charge. Fantastic. Um, total defense of 29. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Obviously not the highest, but 11 of which is armor. So that's pretty good. They're not going to die to javis and, uh, and missiles too quickly. But 18 morale, good, really good for a cavalry unit. 14 melee and 14 alt attack. So these guys will do some damage in um, combat and staying in combat. These guys, I'm pretty sure, would be a really good cavalry killer with that 41 charge. But they'd, they've got better melee stats than a lot of cavalry. And they look awesome. They look really nice indeed. That, that little extra, is that armor or is that just a design? I don't know, but it looks cool. Nonetheless, the horses all have this little um, thing on their heads. Uh, and the uh, troopers, they've got the uh, the nice armor on, which is fantastic to see. And it is excellent. They look glorious. They look absolutely glorious. Ready to go. So the Heteroi are very good. Decent. Very decent. Let's have a look at them compared to the Zistafori. You can just see they're just better than the Zistafori in literally every department. So a very decent cavalry unit. Heavy cavalry. But guys... Let's move on to, uh, yes, the boys, the Seleucid boys, let's go, the Cataphracts, oh baby, this is glorious, I love Cataphracts, I think they're amazing, they are brilliant units, and look at these stats guys, 63 charge, 39 defense, that's obscene, 20 morale, 15 melee attack. These guys are the tanks of the ancient battlefield. They are literally going to destroy enemies. Absolutely brutalize them. Um, especially if you charge into the back of them. They ah, Look at this. Look at the design on that helm as well. Look at this. Oh, glorious, glorious, glorious helms. These guys look awesome they look so cool they look so strong which is what a cataphract should look like 
looking glorious. I mean, look at the detail on, on even on this boot, guys. Um, yeah, it's glorious, glorious, glorious cataphracts. Oh, I love cataphracts. I don't know whether you can hear in my voice, but I absolutely love cataphracts. Fantastic. But yeah, absolutely an elite cavalry unit. These guys, there's not much more elite than you can get with this. Let's, uh, the fact that they're pretty, I would say that they're better than your uh, bodyguard, honestly. Obviously, the bodyguard has less defense, more morale, and more melee attack. But that melee attack difference is not as much as the defense difference. I think these guys are better. And that's probably why they only get 41 in their unit, because they're so, so good. So, when you get access to these guys, you do want to get them as quick as possible. One thing to note, though, they are very slow because of the amount of armor. They're, they're absolute slugs when they're going around the battlefield. So, <laughs> make sure that they're not too far away from the enemy or get caught chasing cavalry forever, because it'll take you ages to get them back on the battlefield. So, keep them close and keep them ready to strike. Right, guys, now let's have a look at the big boys. The big boys over this side. The exciting, exciting big boys. So they got 13 hit points, these scythe chariots. Good lord. Good lord. 13 hit points with 15 total defense. Is that 13 hit points for each unit? Or is that 13? I, I, I don't know. But crazy. 22 morale. Very, very good morale. 20 melee attack. 50 charge, 15 defense is not high, but with 13 hit points, guys, that's obscene. So I've been reliably informed by my phone that 13 times 15 is 195. So technically, these guys have 195 defense. That's, uh, that's pretty strong. The one thing is they have a huge hitbox, guys, because of how big the unit is. So they will take more damage than a normal unit by far, by a long way. So that's probably why they have so many hit points, because they'll take an obscene amount of damage from missiles uh, and from charging into the enemy. But a very scary unit, they frighten nearby enemy, they're going to do some serious damage. Serious damage, fantastic. Now guys, let's have a look at the Indian War Elephants. These boyos, ready to go. There they are, looking scary, <laughs> looking very cool indeed. These are the boys, these are the scary units that you want to be recruiting later on. Um, 12 hit points again, uh, 19 defense, so a bit more uh, than uh, the uh, Scythe Chariots, but that's of course represented in the armor that they have on. Very cool indeed. 16 morale, so not too bad morale. They might route relatively quickly, just depending on the situations you put them in. So make sure you put them in favorable positions rather than just sending them right into the middle of the enemy army. Because then they might route or go berserk or run amok, whatever it's called. Uh, melee attack of 14, of course, but they've got the special attack where they do the, the Hulk smash. Um, and yeah, that 12 hit points is very good. And of course, they scare the enemy. Right then, guys. Well, I think uh, I think that's it. We'll uh, move on to the battle with the Macedonians, and I hope all of you that have been watching have enjoyed uh, have enjoyed this series so far. We'll try and go through a few more rosters when we get access to them, so keep subscribed and liking the videos to stay tuned for more updates to RTR Imperium Serectum and to see more sneak previews. So guys, without further ado, let's get into this battle, and we'll bring the boyos forward. Let's make sure you guys... Are in there. Where are our, all our phalangite units? You're not. Right, what I'm going to do, get you all off phalanx. What we'll do is get the middle of phalangite units. So group you guys. You three together. You guys on fire at will. And then we need the pastists. Agraspires. Agraspires. Get over here. Ah, oh, we've uh, we've not set up very quickly. So let's get the scary boys out to the right, and you guys get in there. And then we'll use the rest of you. You are a brutally good cavalry block there that we've got. So uh, good luck to anyone who wants to stand in our way. Let's get forward. Units, run. Units, 
Yeah, fire your jabbies, boys. Oh, they're the Royal Peltast as well. They're a decent unit. Okay, so he's going to charge us with his Heteroi. His elite cavalry. So let's see how these reformed swordsmen do in the defense. Oh, I mean, pretty good so far, I've got to say. Oh, let's make sure you're on fire at will as well. Right, Scythe Chariots. I think it's your turn, time to shine, my boy. Let's see how they do. Who are you? They're spearmen. We don't want to deal with them, so let's just get away. See these Scythe Chariots in action, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Is that illegal? Oh my, oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! So certified cav killers then, guys. Let's see how they do against infantry. Actually, we'll go into the heteroi, I'd say. Uh, he's going to flank us here. It's fine, though. Certified cav killers. Right, let's get into uh, the middle of here. Come on, Salukids! Yes! Now into them. Let's go just straight through. Let's see how they do against the infantry. Okay, less good it seems, but they are scaring them. I'd say get into the Theroperoi. And let's uh, get behind here. Oh, come on the Ellies. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, I think... Go into the Agama because they're a decent unit. Let's go. Let's see the Saluki, the Scythe Chariots, should I say. Oh, they're just good. They're so good. <laughs> Fantastic. Now out. Get in there, boys. We're just scaring them to death. Kill the Theroperoi. Elephants and uh, Chariots is going to be an instant route, surely. Surely. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and he's just been scythed to death. Fantastic. Get those boyos. Oh, the Agama have even gone now. Oh. oh. That was just beautiful, wasn't it? Let's get some of these guys. Cavalry. The cavalry's hardly even died. I kind of want to charge the... Uh, I mean, the cataphracts haven't even lost a man yet. So I'm going to charge them into the Agama of the Peltasts. And then the rest of you guys can... Uh, charge whatever's left of the Macedonians. Come on, Ellies. Let's go. Where are the chariots? Oh, they're just having a field day out here. Just having a field day. Right, let's uh, charge the... Uh, Cataphracts in and let's see how they do from the uh, Agama's pers perspective. Oh, here they go, boys. Oh, oh, inst oh my god. Inst oh my god, on that charge, they nearly killed half. <laughs> yes, the Seleucids. Let's go. Oh, oh my days. This is just glorious. I know the Seleucids is going to be hard when I play it, guys, on um, on the campaign. I know it's going to be extremely hard. But, at this moment in time, um, <laughs> with these units, it's going to be fun. I know it's going to be difficult, but it's going to be fun. Oh, <laughs> glorious. Glorious. Explains why we didn't win last time, doesn't it? <laughs> Against the Seleucids. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed the unit roster, the new sneak preview, and enjoyed the uh, the different um, units, the unit variation, and the sort of guide to the unit roster as well. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. All those things really help the channel out. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for your continued support. And hopefully, I'll see you again on the next video.